Apollo 181 is a homemade didactic 4-bit CPU, made exclusively of bipolar logics and memories, using early 1970s TTL technology. All the components, used in the project, are described in the bug book, 1 and 2. These, are self-instructional laboratory workbooks, that permit a novice, to learn the basic principles of digital electronics and to perform experiments on the TTL-74 series of integrated circuits. In 1970s during the third generation of computer before the born of faster monolithic processors, CPU were built of many integrated circuits on a board. The extensive use of Schottky TTL digital logics in many computers made possible a 150 nanosecond cycle time, so the use of 4-bit LU like the 74181, continued to be competitive in the 70s. Introduced by Texas Instruments in March 1970, the 74181 was used in 16-bit mini computers such as Data General's Nova 1200 series, 1970-71, Xerox Alto 1 and 2, 1973-75. DEC PDP-11 on 1045-40034 and 60 models, 1972-76. And in the 32-bit VX-11 on 780 mini computer, 1977. The 20-bit Perk workstation was one of the last to employ it, 1980. The SN74181 was the first to LU arithmetic logic unit in a single package. Consisting of the equivalent of 75 logic gates, the 74181 is a TTL MSI transistor-transistor logic medium-scale integration chip. The die side measures 0.1 inches and it is built out of 180-200 bipolar transistors. The 74181 performs 32 arithmetic and logical operations on two 4-bit words. The device can add, subtract, left shift, compare and perform all the 16 logical operations, not, and, or, xor, nor, implication etc. It also works as a function generator, generates specific values like 0, 1, minus 1 etc., regardless of inputs. Apollo 181, like early computers, uses the contents of a memory location as one upper and in a 4-bit accumulator in the CPU as the second upper end. The result is stored back in the accumulator. The 74181 simply acts as a combinatorial network. Two 4-bit operands are operated upon according to 4-bit command, and outputs change a short time after the inputs have varied. No storage is provided so accumulation of temporary results requires external registers. The max propagation delay of the 74S181 is 20 nanoseconds. In Apollo 181, the program is located in 256 byte of RAM memory, which is built of 8 TTL74200 chips, that are bipolar random access memories, arranged in 256 words, of 1 bit, each. Instructions are 8 bit wide, which travel along 8 bit address bus. The reason we classify Apollo 181 a 4-bit processor is that internal registers in the arithmetic logic unit perform computations on 4-bit intermediate results. Advantages of a shorter word are simpler circuits and higher speed. Apollo 181 processor runs at 3 MHz and is able to compute a 12-bit integer multiplication, giving a 24-bit long result in less than 1.2 milliseconds. The instruction set consists of 16 basic commands, which perform data transfer, conditional jumps, input and output interfacing, and the complete set of the 32 arithmetic and logic operations of the 74181 chip. Jump to Load accumulator Load register Move register Set auto operation 
Make arithmetic on data. Make arithmetic on register. Make logic on data. Make logic on register. Set carry flag. Compare accumulator with data. Compare accumulator with register. Jump if equal. Jump if greater. Input from port. Output to port. In Apollo 181, read only memories. Translate all the program's instructions into sequential digital events. The control logic circuit, which holds the sequence of operations, is implemented with 474188 bipolar TTL PROMs. These are read-only memories, programmed by the user, only once, by blowing their titanium tungsten fuse links. That is an irreversible process. Programs can use up to 16 internal registers to store 4-bit temporary results. The registers are implemented with a unique memory chip, the 7489 RAM, organized as 16 4-bit words. The processor is also capable of driving 16 4-bit independent input and output ports to allow to communicate with the external word and receive signals from it. Apollo 181 Project obviously aims to be more educational and recreational than being a practical useful processor. Major limitations compared with normal CPU are the maximum program length of only 256 instructions, the lack of subroutine calls, and the absence of memory manipulation instructions. Theoretical areas of application of Apollo 181 could be the same as microcontrollers, small domestic appliances, white and brown goods, security systems, toys, office equipment, and industrial control applications.